Hello folks, today I'm fitting rear brake shoes to a 2001 Nissan Micra. Make sure, make sure you have the handbrake off before you try to remove the drum. Now you can replace the shoes with the hub still fitted but I find it takes much longer. It's, it's very easy to take the hub off, just undo this 20mm nut and tap the hub and then you have all the room in the world to work with. You can see now I have much more room to work with. Next thing is to blow any brake dust out of the, the hole. Don't forget the drum. And just check the drum for any excess wear. Just give it a quick look over. Now I'm going to just remove the little caps and springs and pins from the brake shoes. And pulling the shoes out at the bottom. Just release everything. Take the bottom spring off and that little clip that fell down is the handbrake limit limiter and now I'm just pulling back the spring on the handbrake cable and taking the cable out. Now that's the way the shoes are assembled. You can see how badly worn the old shoe is the leading shoe, the one at the front, is usually the one that, that wears most. Here I'm transferring that the brake adjuster lock, that little clip, onto the new shoe. And what this does is it stops the brake adjuster from doing its own thing. Sorry about the bad view here, I, I had the camera set up and I thought I had a good view of the shoes when I had them up in the air but it didn't work out as good as I hoped. And at that point I think I went off for a cup of tea and here we are back again. Now I'm putting the brake adjuster in next and I'm slacking the adjuster off. Uh, it's a good idea to do, do that now, if the adjuster isn't slackened off the brake drum won't fit back onto the new shoes. So I've wound it back and now I'm putting the spring, <coughs> the top spring over that and now I'm going to put the spring onto the other shoe first, the shoe that has the handbrake lever and I'm going to engage the other end of the brake adjuster onto the handbrake lever. So you can see the way it fits around the back there. Now the trick is to try and hold everything together while I put the shoes back in. Sometimes that everything just flies apart and you have to start again. I, I just placed the little pins ready there. The springs will fit over them now in a few minutes. And now I'm pulling the spring back on the handbrake cable and just bringing up the shoes and I'm going to engage the handbrake cable into the handbrake lever. You can 
see it there clearly and now I usually fit the handbrake shoe the one at the back end first actually the limiter here for the brake lever I've just fitted upside down it'll take me four or five seconds to, to uh, realize that here we go pins right through the hole in the shoe and through that little clip and now the spring and cap goes back on now these caps what you do is you line them up with the pin push them in with the pliers and give them a twist so that they fit properly it, it's very rarely that you get this first time usually it'll be about the fourth or fifth time Yep, first attempt failed. The caps usually spring off and fly all over the place. Okay, that was too bad. spring the lower spring on here bring the leading shoe down and pop it over onto the piston the cylinder at the top is your brake cylinder and the, there's a piston at each end now I'm just going to pull the leading shoe in and you can see the clip for the brake adjuster has dropped down I need to straighten that up now in a minute so I'll probably put the spring, the pin, the spring and the cap back in first. No, I didn't. I actually seen the mistake there. You can see how that engages. What that does is it stops the adjuster from slackening back. So as the brakes wear down, the adjuster moves one way and brings the shoes out further in contact with the drum. And that little clip there stops the adjuster front from winding back the wrong way. Yep, time for a few courses there. Yeah, cool. That wasn't too bad tapping down the leading shoe so that the two shoes are sitting uh, properly on the back plate. Now once I've put the hub nut on I'll be adjusting the brakes the trick here is to fit the drum and if it's too loose this is the adjuster you want to adjust the shoes out so that they lightly tip the drum so this, is, this just needs a couple of clicks out now you can see me click uh, adjusting it out and you can see the clip the way it operates it stops the adjuster from winding back the wrong way. Time to see if the drum fits nicely now. And that's just nice. It should just lightly rub the shoes without binding or stopping. This nut should be on fairly tight, that's why I've used the long bar on this. And the next step now is to just tap the edges of the nut, the little flange on the nut, stake it into the into the shaft. And 
that's really it. Just check it again, make sure it turns freely. Put the cap back on. And time to put the wheel on now. And the wheel nuts are 21 millimeter. And that's all for this time, folks. Thanks very much for watching.